Michael was uh, still an active officer, you know, um, when we got together. And that was fine. That was all good. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in, somewhere into our marriage, I don't even remember how many years, uh, Michael retired. And things changed pretty quickly for us. There was a heightened sense of paranoia coming from him, like everyone's out to get us. I started to feel like, you know, there's something not right here. He's, he's not in his right mind. You tend to um, have visions come back of different things. I call it, with me, I call it my, my slide projector. And some of us only have one or two slides in that projector. My projector has hundreds of images. And you'll just be sitting there at night maybe and, and these images will start sliding to your brain of traumatic incidences. I didn't even know that police officers dealt with post-traumatic stress. I didn't know this. I had no clue. Once we found out what he was struggling with, he started to open up to me and tell me these. And I'm like, how do you guys do this? Oh my God, how do you guys do this? I know of guys I work with and stuff that committed suicide. I was on the job. And when something happened and they committed suicide, Oh, it had nothing to do with the work they did. I had some major traumatic instances in my life. When I pick up that kid that just got killed on the highway, dies in my hands, or the mother's in the hospital with the father right now because they got hurt too, who has to go in that hospital and tell them? Your six-year-old kid just got killed. To make it die. Who? Me. Besides picking the kid up off the street dead, now I gotta go and tell the parents. And I get emotional now, but before, do it quick. Hey Pete, your son died too in the accident, sorry about that, and walk out. Come on. They gotta shrug it off, push it down, and keep going and keep going. So this is, and then eventually, they can't keep it down anymore. I tried help from every other avenue and didn't get it. And yet I was still having them slide projectors. Yet I was still having the craving to go get drunk. Yet still having the craving to use drugs, use the prescription drugs or the illegal drugs. And I'm gonna be honest, as I sit here, to the TM, it's all gone away. We were so at our wit's end, we figured it can't hurt any. And I was really shocked to see that Michael even would do it, because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna sell him on this. And I only tried it for her. I'm old school cop, law enforcement, big bad trooper, then DA and all that crap. Guess what? This is a hippie thing in some Volkswagen van, comes out with a flower shirt and beads. I'm out of here, man. And it was nothing like that. No. Nothing. We did it together, and um, it, was, it was just amazing. I saw, this, I saw light coming through this man's eyes that I had not seen, and I can't tell you how long. It was miraculous. And I was, I was floating on air. The life changer with us was it made us able to communicate deeper. Since we've been practicing TM, um, we actually have a future. You know, I knew he was going through some really tough stuff and I didn't want to walk away. I didn't want to walk away because I didn't want to leave him in a place that was so dark. Now I see it's growing old. TM has absolutely changed our lives. There's just no doubt about that. None whatsoever. It is the greatest gift I have ever been given. It really is that we've ever been given, yeah. yeah. TM, absolutely. I'm so grateful. I have no idea where I would be in life right now yeah. if it wasn't for it. None. I'm being, a, I don't know if I'd be a drug addict in the gutter somewhere, an alcoholic laying on the side, or that, that I asked myself, to be totally honest. Life changer? I might not be here without it. You ask me, is it a life changer, you know, right? Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs>